Welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back with a good one today. We're going to have a unification fight uh, that we're going to get into and show you how to bring down the house. We're on a boxing. Odds makers don't know anything. They don't know how to handicap the sport. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Uh, also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene all uh, it's completely dedicated to Texas boxing and all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Still not feeling well. Can't get over this. It's allergies. I don't know what it is. Um, but we're going to get into the uh, Janibic Alan Conley fight against Vincenzo Gualtieri for the WBO and IBF uh, middleweight titles. It's a unification fight. So it's a big deal, except no one's really paying attention to it. It's it's in a Rosenberg Center uh, in, in Rosenberg, Texas. It's is. I don't know. It's for a unification fight. It's just not really getting much attention. Um, I think it's a pretty good fight. I looked at the odds, and I said, okay, they're really, really um, favoring Janibek, and and they should. He, he's the more accomplished fighter, I guess. Um, but the odds are, are are staggering. I don't really know what they're looking at, and I'm gonna show you how to make a nice little bet on this fight. Um. I'm going to show you how to make some money on this fight. It's a little bit of a risk. Um, the odds are, like, I, I, I think Janet Beck is going to win. He's so strong. He's so powerful. Uh, he's heavy off the front foot. Uh, but he can be had. We saw the Denzel Bentley fight that he can be outboxed. All right? He doesn't throw a ton of punches. Um, he's really heavy off the, off the front foot. If you can um, make him go backwards, um, you can have him. He can be had. Uh, that's a difficult thing to do because he is so big and he is so strong and he's so powerful. Um, the the left hook, he, 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 you know, he, he doesn't throw a lot, he, but he when, he when he is first, he's he's when he throws first when he leads, he's he's hard to deal with. When he counters, he counters really well, really well with the lead uh, with the lead left right. I'm sorry, southpaw lead right hook. Um, he, so he, he he's he's a tough guy to deal with, uh, but you can overwhelm him. And if you could ever make him go backwards, you could beat him. So, I mean, look, uh, Denzel Bentley is a bigger hitter than Gualti Arias. You know, Steve Butler couldn't hit, so he just got overwhelmed, right? Um, could that happen to Gualti Arias? Could, could Gualti Arias just get overwhelmed? Well, maybe. I don't see that happening. Um, Gualti Arias, <clears throat> look, he's got a hot caliber win, okay? Um, Gualti Arias... Has is from Germany, even though he's got an Italian name. Um, he's a really good fighter. He's a skilled fighter. He throws punches from odd angles. He switches between the South Pole and conventional stance, like a lot of Italian fighters do. Um, you know, he just throws punches from weird angles. He's got a good jab. He's got a real snappy jab. He makes you miss. Um, he's a good athlete. Like I said, he's got some power. He dropped Falco. He's got a good win over Esquivel Falco, who's 30 and off. And he, he dominated the fight, dropped him twice. He goes to the body. He mixes things up really well. Um, even when you look at his record, it's 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 not – he's only got seven knockouts and 21 wins, right? He's 21-0-1. He's got one draw. The draw goes back to Thomas Piccarillo all the way back in 2020 uh, during, the, during the pandemic, <clears throat> um, which is kind of a strange loss, uh, a draw. That's a guy he could dominate. Uh, although Piccolo is another Italian who lives in Germany. Um, you know, he's got on and had a bunch of draws. He's 13 0 4 now. So this is a guy that Gualtieri should have handled. Um, so that, that gives me some second guessing. Also, like I said, he can win rounds on, on volume. He, he's, he's busier. He mixes it up. He throws power shots. He could be winning this fight. I, I don't think ultimately he's going to win. I, I, I think he's going to get stopped. Um, like I said, he he, he 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 makes you miss, but he leaves himself wide open, hands down. Um, you know, he keeps his hands low, real low, which I hate. Um, so he's there to be hit, right? Like, if you can time him, you can hit him, you can get close on him, you can hit him. And, I, and he's got his hands down constantly, which I hate. He, he relies, his defense is relied heavily on his athleticism, and he's a good athlete. He's, he's the better athlete in the ring. 
Um, he, I think he's the better pure boxer in the ring. He does more things, although I think Janet, Janet Beck is skilled. I think, you know, for the fighter that he is, which is a heavy up the front foot come from a fighter, he's a good counter puncher, right? It just, you know, he, he doesn't throw a lot. And if you can make him go backwards, you can have him. Can he do that? Oh, I don't know. Like I said, he's going to have to, you know, confuse him. He's going to have to jam a lot, hide things behind the jab, throw some throwaway shots, put power shots behind the jab. Like I said, he, he switches between the two stances. Do that. Just give him different looks. Don't let him get comfortable in the ring. Ultimately, you know, and stay off the ropes. Stay off the ropes with this guy. Um, he mixes up his combos really well. Mix up head and body. Just keep him guessing. Overwhelm him. You know, can't constantly make him think, make him think, make him uncomfortable. That's the game plan. Ultimately, I, I think this fight's a lot closer than the odds are are saying because the odds are that this fight isn't close at all. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Um, I, I think the fight is close. But I, I think they, they they have the right guy winning, but the odds are, are, are just staggering. You're not making much money on this fight. Um, and I'm gonna show you right now. Um. So, all right, here it is. Janet Beck, Alan Kindly. And that, that's going to, if you can get that right, I'm going to be impressed. It's minus 1,200. Um, that's only going to pay minus 1,200. So you get about $1,200 to win $1. Boy, that's rough. Boy, that's rough. Uh, twelve hundred dollars with you one dollar. So a hundred dollar bet makes you eight thirty three. You want to make it a two times bet? I don't really feel comfortable doing that because I, I think the fight's a lot closer than they thought. They think. I also think it's going to go over eight and a half rounds. I think Gualtieri is may go the distance in this fight. Denzel Bentley went the distance. He only has to make it to through eight and a half rounds. If he can make it to the end of the ninth, second half of the ninth round, this fight goes over. And I think there's a good chance this fight goes over. Now, that's not great odds either. It's paying you $74 on a $100 bet, right? So this whole bet of $200 is only paying you 82 bucks. but I think it's pretty safe. I think the fight goes over, and I think Janet Beck wins. Um, again, they've made Janet Beck out to be the boogie, mo the boogie monster. Um, I, I don't think he's all he's cracked up to be, although I think he's good. I, I don't think he's going to be a pound for pound guy. You know, they were comparing him to, you know, like a left handed Triple G. I don't see that at all. I, I don't think he's a dominant fighter like that, although I, I do think he'll win this fight and he'll have a title reign. He'll be a unified champ, which is good for him. But I, I don't see anything great about him. You know, he's strong and powerful and off the front foot. He can't cut off the ring like Triple G. He doesn't have a jab like Triple G. Um, you know, he's just he, he defensively he he's he's flawed and he can be hit, um, but he 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 does strike quickly and he's big and strong and he's powerful, and you know I I don't love these odds either. If you wanted to take the under, I I think that's a fair bet. Although I I, I think given his athleticism, Waltieri can survive. He's going to survive for a while. Well, I don't think he'll make it twelve. I, I I do think he'll make it late in the fight. He may make it twelve. I mean, that's why I'm not betting on on um, a Janet Beck to get a knockout because this, this could go 12. Um, when you look at Je um, Gualtieri's fights, they go 12. Every single one of them, except for the 10-round fights, right? But like, they all go the distance. So, guys, tell me. You know, there's, uh, there's a lot of tape on both these guys. I know everyone's a little bit more familiar with Janabek um, than Gualtieri. Um, but Gualtieri is, is a good fighter, good athlete, good skill, good combination puncher. I think he's got more power. Like I said, he dropped Falco twice. He didn't do it once by fluke. He did it twice, once with a body shot. Right, like I think his power might be a little underrated. I, I think he can keep um, Janabek at bay for a while. I think the fight goes deep, and I think Janabek wins. So that's the bet: Janabek and the over. You know, it's not paying a ton of money. Um, 
I was looking at that bet. Does uh, Janet Beck get dropped and still win the fight? I'm going to say no. I don't, I don't think that's a bet worth taking, although it's an interesting bet. Um, I think Walter is game in this fight. I think he competes. I, I think he wins rounds. You know, I, I think he's doing well. But I think ultimately Janet Beck – the other little concern I would have is Janet Beck seems to have a little bit of a gas tank issue. We saw it in the Denzel Bentley fight. Right, like he he doesn't throw much to start with, and then as you get later in the fight, he gets slower, he moves less, um, and he's really flat footed. He starts to get hit. Now he came back and won the twelfth round when Buddy McGirt fired him up, uh, but he was letting a lot of those late rounds slide. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, follow the boxing bookie. Remember, the boxing bookie doesn't bet. Uh, I use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in the great state of Texas. Uh, I couldn't bet if I wanted to. I don't bet, but if you want to. If you want to supplement your income, I'm going to consistently show you how to make money on boxing. Boxing bookies, boxing odds makers don't know what they're doing. They have no idea how to handicap the sport. I do. I will show you how to make money on this fight. Follow me uh, for, for all the tips. That's 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all from social media, quick hits, um, and Texas Boxing Scene. Um, it's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. It is October 12th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside.